today I'm going to show you how to create three different looks using the Urban Decay Reloaded palette. If you haven't seen my review on this already, you can check out the link up here or in the description box. But let's just focus on creating some really nice looks with this. So I'm going to start off by creating a basic look using all of the neutral shadows in this palette. We're going to start off with Blur, which is a light nude shade. Now this will work perfectly as a base. Should be about the same shade or a little bit lighter than your skin tone. And it actually went on a little darker for me. So I did add in a little bit of the lighter shade called Bribe, which I'll be using as my highlight later. So I mix the two of them together to create a nice even base for me to work on. I then took Booked, which is a warm brown and it's matte. And this is gonna be used as our mid-tone or transition shade. So a mid-tone is basically a middle tone. It's a little lighter than your contour and a little darker than your base. That's why I call it a mid-tone. You just wanna work this over and back using a smaller blending brush in the crease of the eye. And I'm gonna take the shade Retro, which is a bright peachy matte tone. And this is gonna be used as what I refer to as a fade shade. Basically goes around the edges of your mid-tone and then use a blending brush to soften it out. And it creates just a little bit more of a fade. I then took Boundaries, which is a warm terracotta matte shade. A lot of people would probably think of using this in the crease of the eye, but it actually has a little bit of too much sparkle in my opinion, even though it's a matte shade. I talked about this in my review. I'm actually just gonna keep this to the actual lid. Then I took Endgame as our contour shade, and this actually has red sparkle in it, but it's not really that noticeable, and I just applied this on the outer edge of the eye. With Barely Baked, which is a beautiful, soft gold metallic shade, I applied this on the inner corner of the lid using a damp brush. This created a beautiful, soft cut crease effect. It was really opaque, gorgeous gold. I love it so much. And I just had to go back in with that boundaries again, just to soften between the dark and the light on the lid. Taking Bribe again, which is the lighter shade, I'm just gonna apply this underneath my brow bone to brighten this up. And you can also apply a small amount just in the inner corner too. And I did take a little bit of end game and apply this underneath my eyes, but that is basically the finished look. I loved the kind of neutral tones in this palette. It worked out beautifully really easy to do and the blend was gorgeous. For the next look, we're gonna be using the four pink tones within this palette. But to start with, I did apply Bribe all over the lid, just creating a simple wash for us to blend over. So the first shadow that we're gonna use is called Retro. It's a bright peachy matte shade and this is gonna be used as our transition or mid-tone. I'm not used to using peaches in my crease, but it worked out pretty well. If you feel like it's a little bit too much for you though, you could use a little bit of booked and just soften this out. So mix the two of them together, but just try out the peach because you never know, it could work really well for you. Be adventurous. We're then gonna take Burn, which is a copper burgundy metallic shade. This is the darkest of the sort of pinky tones within this palette and look how beautiful it worked with that beautiful peach. Like I feel like even at this point, this look is just coming together so easily. I apply this on the inner and the outer corner and then very softly into the crease, but just deep in the crease, don't blend it up too high. We're gonna do a soft, subtle sort of spotlight eye. So what I did is I then took Reputation and applied this in the center. However, Reputation and Burn, they're not that different. So I did have to apply that concealer as a base underneath so we get more of a spotlight effect. Now Angel Fire is like a pressed glitter, but you actually need to have a base underneath it for it to really show up. So what I did is I actually applied this on the inner corner and because we already had burn on that inner corner, it actually gave it something to kind of hold on to and really show up because the lighter kind of glitters, when they're placed over something dark, they really pop. It's really just like applying glitter, but just easier because you don't have to go and actually use any like glitter glue. I then used Bribe just underneath my brow bone to add a little bit of highlight and definition. And I went back in then with Angel Fire and I just went around the edges. So basically around the cut crease kind of edges. And I didn't really look that different really, but it just added a little bit more sparkle. And that is the pink look. You can apply a little bit of burn just underneath the eyes if you want to, or even a little bit of end game. But I'm really happy with how this turned out because I'm not one for using pinks on my eyes, but I loved this look. Okay, moving on now to the bronzy tones. So these are the more cooler bronzy tones in this palette. 
I already applied blur over my lid as a base and we're gonna go in with Bucked, which is a warm matte brown. And this is gonna be worked as our mid-tone over and back in the crease of the eye. And pay close attention to how you blend this because we're doing a smoky eye and your blend in your crease is really important. And then I'm gonna take Endgame. I'm gonna apply this all over the lid and this is like a chocolate brown. You wanna apply this really close to those lashes and then very softly blend it up till you reach about the crease point, but don't bring it too far up. Keep it on the lid and keep it low on the lid. We're then gonna apply Distilled over the top of Endgame. And the reason I do this is because metallics go really beautifully over the top of something matte. And if it's dark, it's gonna really shine. So try applying Endgame and then Distilled over the top. It'll be easier. It's like applying two layers of nail polish, basically. So Endgame is your base and Distilled over the top. And then we have this interesting shade called Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is referred to as a 3D sparkle. It's kind of similar to Angel Fire, but a little chunkier. And I tried it with lots of different kind of brushes and techniques, but I feel like your fingertips is the only way to really push this on there. But it adds a beautiful amount of soft glitter. And then I also applied black liner on my lower and upper waterline. I took a little bit of distilled on a smaller brush and then just apply this around the edges just underneath. And there you go, a classic smoky eye. It'll take you like two minutes to do this. I absolutely love all of those kind of bronzy tones together. Love it so much. And if there's any other palettes that you'd like me to try out, definitely let me know. Definitely let me know what combinations that you've tried. And I'll hopefully do the Wet n Wild Roses in the Air really soon because that has been really heavily requested. But if you have any more recommendations, definitely let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.